Hey, what's happening guys? We are back with the robotic arm and this is hacking the robotic arm part three. Now, if you remember in the first part, I showed you how to use the L293 here, this chip, to control the robot arm simply by switching input one high and input two low to turn one way and input two low, input one high, or input two high, input one low to switch in another direction. Well, let's zoom on down here a little bit. Zoom in. There we go. So if you recall, these are our connections for this side of the L293 chip, which can control one DC motor. This pin one is our enable. Pin two is in one. Pin three is out one. Pin four and five are both ground. Pin six is out two. Pin seven is in two. And pin eight is our V plus for the motor. And then on the other side, pin 16 is our V plus for the chip. Now, the difference here is our in one and our in two are now being fed into the Arduino. And I'll tilt that up enough for you, can I? Okay, so pin two or in one is going yeah, in one is going to pin digital two, and in two is going to pin digital three. So we can control the robot now through programming with the Arduino. So what I've done is I've written a really simple sketch to just rotate that base back and forth. Let's hop over to the computer, take a look at the code, then we'll come back and check it out. All right, here's our code. This is the simple part, hacking the robot on part three. We're defining two pins, rot R, rotate right, pin two, <clears throat> and rot L, rotate left, pin three. We have a variable called wait time, which is our delay set for two seconds. In our setup, we set both of our pins for output, and we write them both low. Next here in our loop, we rotate the base right by saying digital right, rot R, rotate right high, rotate left low. And we let that cook for two seconds. Then we write them both low. Then we wait for two seconds again, and we do it in the opposite direction. We say right low and left high, let it cook for two seconds, and then shut them both down and then it does the whole thing again. So pretty simple here so far. Don't worry, it's going to get more complicated as we move on. But this is just a simple demo of the Arduino controlling the robot arm. Things ready. The code has been uploaded. So I'm going to reset the Arduino and power up everything. And you know, here's my hands. Not touching anything. And there it is, rotating back and forth. I know this thing makes some horrible grinding noises. That's just the cheap motors and cheap plastic gears. But you know, all in all, I think that this thing is an excellent learning tool for us to learn how to program. All right, so now that we've demonstrated control of the base rotation motor down here, Next, we can take control of this motor here. So to do that, we can use the other side of this L293D. Let me zoom in here and get you guys a good picture. All right, so the first thing that we need to do is enable that H-bridge. So we're just going to put a link here and tie that to ground. I'm sorry, we're not going to tie that to ground. That would be foolish. We're going to tie it to five, the 5-volt five rail. And then we will put in our two grounds. 
That's what I meant to say earlier. So we put a ground in there. And we put another ground in here. Then we're going to need a pair of wires. So we need our in three wire, which goes here. And we'll put it up on Arduino pin four. And we need our in four wire, which goes here. And we'll put it on Arduino pin five. And then we need our motor control wire. So I've made up another little pigtail here. And they go on the outsides of the two ground pairs, or of the ground pair, and on the inside of the in pair. like that. Let me zoom out here a little bit. Then we can pull the M4, which is the next motor, off of there and attach it here. So now we are wired up to control two motors. I've got another L293D in right here, and we can wire it up to control the next two motors. So things are moving right along pretty well, but I don't want the video to get too long, so we're going to end it here. And in the next video, which will probably be the final part, we will put all the motor control together, write a code to actually have the robot do something. So that's it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, give me a thumbs up. Feel free to comment, share. Don't forget to subscribe. Big thanks to all the patrons. If you're not a patron already, please check it out. That's it. I'm out. Peace.